And it's a question I always love to ask. What is the best thing about being you? I don't know. We'll start with Supriya. What's the best oh, thing? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, I would say one of the best things about this job is um, I really enjoy when I get to meet readers who um, like me, never got to see themselves in a book or TV show or movie or anything growing up, um, finally get to see that representation and just see how much it means to them to to know that their story matters. I think that's a really neat thing about, about getting to do this job. I took the easy way out. I didn't know what else to say. That was no, really, <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> it is really hard on us. <laughs> Max, you're up next. What's the best thing about being you? Mm, knowing what speculative fiction is. Because <laughs> it's, uh, uh, um. Now I can say that about myself because now I know what it is. And now I, I just. I learned it today too. <laughs> <laughs> just Beverly Hills Cop, if I, if I, if I understood that correctly. Um, um. <laughs> like the coolest guy so no um the best thing of, was the best thing about being me is that what it was yes be um it sounds cheesy um having my kid my daughter is my the best thing about being me is like the kid that i have is is my kid um <laughs> so no, well, no one of the person has that kid um my wife is that. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, that would, would, would be it. And then I guess, I don't know, seeing things like that, I taking ideas that I had when I was in elementary school and stuff and then seeing them become a thing that's tangible. Um, and then I like imagining other kids and other readers, like taking the tangible you, like whatever I held in my hands and read and got excited about or, or or made me sort of daydream and think and imagine like I like thinking of, about and picturing like that my thing being that for somebody else that's like the thing that I like most about um about this job the writing part <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, Min, what's the greatest thing about being you, besides um, from Connecticut? Yeah, I mean the the, the roots in Middletown are, are very strong. Um, actually, I would, my my answer would probably be similar to to both Sapir and Max in that um, as a kid I was like so shy, um, and I was always losing myself in books, and I always thought of like books as my retreat from the world. Um, so it's really cool for me now to be, um able to write books and it's like now books are like my way back into the world right because I get to connect with people and I just describe it to people a lot as if like as a reader I would read to connect with myself and now as a writer I write to connect with other people um so to get to do that with like fellow authors or readers it's just like it's just really fun to have that vehicle for for both expressing yourself but also connecting with other people. Kate how about you? I'm I'm gonna steal Max's answer. the The best thing about being me is the reason I have to keep muting. Um, <laughs> 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 There's chaos in the next room, and it's my favorite kind of chaos. Um, and writerly chaos is a close second. Um, but um, I think, in terms of like the the best part of being able to be here and doing this is I um, I have wanted to write my entire life. And it took me years. It's the only thing that from like, there were other things I wanted to be in between, but like from the earliest I can remember, and it's just been consistent my entire life. I have wanted to do some version of storytelling and it took me, you know, 40 odd years to figure out what kind of story I could actually tell in a way that other people would want to read. Um, for a while, I, I thought I was going to write songs for New Kids on the Block. That was most of middle school. Um, 
I uh, was going to, you know, write movies and things and that didn't pan out. And I went through all of these types of writing that I was very, very bad at. Um, and I, I, it's just, I, it occurred to me when we were talking about like the types of genres that, you know, we gravitate to or that we want and, and something that sort of, I think is worth mentioning to anybody out there who is wanting to write and trying to figure out what kind of story you want to tell or what your voice is that it is really okay to try out different things and whether other people think they're good, whether they resonate with other people, like all these different kinds of writing you try, like they all teach you something about yourself, about the kinds of stories you wanna tell. And I feel like, I, I feel very fortunate right now to have tried lots of things that I was not good at, but that I had so much fun with to suddenly get to this point in my life where I get to tell stories that are, you know, um, that people read and that I get to come and sit and, you know, sit alongside authors like these and be parts of things like this. So that's, that's another cool thing. Cool, Alicia. And there is going to be that question. So all of the authors are going to give a little piece of advice. So after, oh. so, um, so Alicia, what's the best thing about being you? Jeez. Oh, I was going to say my sense of humor, but everybody might not like it. So I'm going to put that. <laughs> I think I'm funny sometimes. You know, I like it. But I think you're hysterical. Um, but Sapria went all deep and made everybody else go deep. <laughs> and I got to order into things and, and, I, and me becoming a writer. I mean, just now I've got to get heavy. Um, I, I do love, I think the best thing about me is that I finally faced myself like Kate like in my years of life and I, I never want I, ne I never knew what I want to do and I, I played around at so many things and finally I became a writer and I think me walking in that door and having the courage to open it is the best thing because because I discovered that I can do this and bring joy or conversations to other people. Yeah. Yes, and you do it extremely well. 